Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra. We're back for some more early access game stuff today with Slime Rancher, because apparently when you volunteer your time to work with the Bureau of Ranching and Junk, um, if you maul all of the sheep and drink their blood as a Chupacabra man, which Larry is, um, they send you to an alien outpost where your task is to deal with, um, these somewhat adorable slime monsters like it's some sort of ranching-related purgatory. So let's, let's jump right in here and do the thing. Uh, let's start a new game, and we'll call it, um, what, what, what do we want to call my, um, my ranch? The Chupacabra Ranch. There we go, that's what we'll name our game. Vundaba. Oh yeah. I can already see this is going well. All right, let's get moving. We gotta move around with our... What is this, a gun? Is it... Oh, it's a suction tube thing. The space bar to jumps, hold shift to sprint. All right. And I guess we suck up these pink slimes. Um, their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. Huh, all right. Come here, slime boy. No escape from me. All right, this is actually kind of cool. We've got, um, a cubit thing. Or a pink plort. Okay. So you vacked a slime. Slimes are key to your success. Shoot slimes through a corral barrier in the, in the coral ranch, or into the corral on the ranch. Uh, mouse wheel, all right, so, okay, so we have like little pens where these little critters live. Okay, that seems to work. Well then, I guess we just gotta clean up all of these slimes that are littering our new abode here on uh, Chupacabra Ranch. We got like a Capsule Corp house and uh, some cute slime trees. And what does this say? The plort market gives you new bucks for your hard-earned plorts. Shoot a plort into the market, or to the plort market, and earn some cash. Is this the plort market? Is that what this is? Okay, so these pink plort things that we found are worth seven bucks a piece. So let's, let's squirt these in here. All right, that seems pretty simple and straightforward. See, being a farmhand isn't such a big deal. I don't know what everyone always whines about when they do this stuff. So, uh, we've got ourselves a plort and a slime. I guess our- let's just clean up our ranch. I mean, I don't want to come back here and find out that my ranch has been, like, overrun by goo and stuff. So, is there any more slimes hiding up here? Doesn't look like it. So, no renegades anywhere over here. What's the deal with these shields on the side here? Can I, no, can't go through there. Oh, this is how I expand my ranch. Okay. So these are like wild areas that I can purchase. And then I guess these are just different types of, okay. So I can purchase like different types of pens and farm plots and stuff. All right, that's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. All right, I got what you're putting down here, game. Swanky. Oh, and these ones are humping. Well then, that's uh, that's certainly a thing. Hello, what are you? Oh, it's a chickadoo. And here's a mama chickadoo or a hen hen. Oh, so the chickadoos are the are the chicks that these hens put down. Are there any more of these hens? Should I be fencing these in? You know what? I'll bet I could make a chicken coop. Let's just make a chicken coop, like, right here. Oh, yeah. Keeping chickens in their place to prevent the uprising. Oh, yeah, I do... I do want to prevent a chicken uprising. All right. Yeah! See? Who said farming simulators had to be super-duper realistic? Nobody on Larry's farm. All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna wander out here... <coughs> into ye old wilderness and see what kind of critters we can capture and enslave. Oh, so these guys eat stuff and shit out money. Okay, that's pretty simple and straightforward. Also, I have carrots. 
and pogo fruit. All right, that sounds fine to me. Come here, my minions. I'm going to enslave you on my farm, and we're going to be the bestest of friends, and you're going to make me a millionaire farmer. Just you wait, you saucy little devils, you. Oh, all right, this is the edge of the map. Sweet. Let me see if I can find any more of these delicious pogo fruit. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Come here, pogos. So, do, can, do I, like, feed the slimes and they squirt out, like, money? I guess that's probably the idea. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just load up on, uh, plorts. Come here, plorts. Oh, yes, that's right. Come here, slimes. All right, I'm full up on slimes, but I, I'm never full up enough on their plorts. So give me all your farty plorts. There's a plort, here's a plort, everywhere a fort plort. Oh, old MacDonald had a plort, E-I-E-I-O. And on that plort there was a pogo fruit, E-I-E-I-O. With a poot poot here and a poot poot there. Pooty poot, pooty poot, sell it for some money. Oh yeah. See, you know what? My parents grew up on farms. And you know, they always made it seem like farming slime monsters in space was so difficult, but... I mean, look at this, I'm already making the bank all up and down. So we're just gonna deposit these slime critters in here with their brethren. So I got like well over 20 of these now. And just because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these pogo fruit, they can eat these as well. Oh yeah, looks like they, they eat it. Okay. Yeah, you guys can have that then. So I have to feed them in order to farm these sweet, delicious plorts. Which make me sweet, delicious money. And I don't mind if I do when it comes to that. Yeah, this is a really, this is one of those really cutesy games that is uh, really, really involved, actually. I think I kind of like that. So is it possible to farm some of this stuff? Garden? Nothing beats the taste of food grown in your own backyard. Well, that depends on if you're a shitty farmer or not, I suppose. How do I get these plorts from you guys? Well, I guess I just suck you back up. Oh, well. That's not the easiest way of doing things, but whatever. Do I have to worry about these guys escaping or anything? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, there's a chicken. Come here, hen hen. You think you could escape me? You get in there with your children. You will- there will be no uprisings, madam. And or sir, I don't actually know what gender these animals are. Alright, let's keep exploring. That was kind of cool. There's like a whole bunch of different slime monsters we can encounter. Um, I think we got enough slime monsters for right now. I don't want to like- I think it's possible don't quote me on this, but knowing what I know from farming sims that I've played in the past, I have a feeling that it's possible to overwhelm our farming pen. So we will not do that. I'm just gonna go and explore a little bit. See what there is to see and to spizzle with, with my grizzle. Oh, that's an under construction zone. I mean, this game is still in like alpha beta stages, so there's going to be a distinctive limit to how much stuff we can interact with and engage with. So, best not to go too bonkers. No, I don't want to suck you up, you pink slime bastards. Where are you? Oh, here's a chicken. I want to start a chicken master race. Um, breeding the master race of chicken trons. High on my to-do list. Uh, just lots of slime monsters over here. Where was there more chickens? Chickens, chickens, chickens. Ooh, ports. I mean, that one can never have too many slime shits in their in their daily diet. I mean, that's what life is all about in this world. Oh, these guys look differenty. What's uh, what's your dealio, Ophelio? What are you? Come here. Oh my Largo! Largo slimes are large slime hybrids. 
formed when a slime eats a plort unlike its own. Hold a vac to keep them on the nozzle or shoot them to send them flying. All right, so we've got like a cute little doomsday critter. All right. Oh, I bet they ate like these other little ports here. Okay, so I don't have room for you, sir. So you're going to go over there. I don't I don't got space for you right now. Hey, what the hell? Oh, it's a cat. I have a cat. So I have a rock plort and I have pogo fruit. Okay, so there's just different kinds of plorts and when the slimes eat each other's plorts or their shit, they can become ultra slimes. Noted. Okay, that's actually kind of adorable. Um, and there was like a cat slime back there. Yeah, this is all pretty, this is pretty adorable. And there's also, I mean, it's adorable, yet it's not silly easy like you'd imagine like a childish game would be. Oh, yeah, what's this? This is like, uh, oh, it's like a cute little firefly. Uh, slime monster. All right, that's kind of a, that's kind of cute too. All right, let's grab up the rest of these plorts. Anyone else got a plort for me, sir? Excuse me, sir. I need you. I need you to. I need you to plort for me, okay? I need you to plort all over the. Oh wait, I want that actually. Where did that other blue plort go? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh, did you just hurt me, you little bastard? Stupid sexy slimes with your sexy nodules. Ooh, give me those. Uh, let's see. There, there's a plort. Oh, and there's like, oh, are these little chickadees? They are little chickapoos. But they're different colored. So I can't suck those up right now. Alright, well, let's take our haul back to base. Because I guess some of these things are smacking us in the face. Yeah, all right, things are starting to come up Chupacabra here on um, Chupacabra Ranch, Chupacabra Fields, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what kind of moon does this planet have? Just a regular kind of moon? All right, well, I guess that's that's good and that's a good enough place to, to leave off in the fields. So what is the end game here, I'm wondering? I guess the whole idea is you just slowly upgrade your ranch and explore it to see what sort of stuff there is to see. And I guess eventually you probably have some automated machines to make your farming easier. Yeah, that sounds real good. So let's buy us a farm plot or a garden. So purchase me a garden. So how do I... Shoot a fruit or veggie into the depositor to begin growing your food. Okay. Oh, I only need one to start, uh... To start growing food, apparently. Well, that's kind of nice. I mean, it would kind of be a pain in the butt if I needed, like, a maximum amount. Now, give me delicious things, you slave creatures. I'll leave one of these plorts over- or one of these pogo fruits over here for later. And I'll just feed these guys so that they give me an adequate amount of plorts so I can continue to farm. Yes, my slaves. Eat and be filled with my delicious ooze. Yes. Achievement unlocked, ball pit. All right, I have no idea what that is, but I'll take it, I suppose. Why, seriously, is there not a better way to separate out the slimes that I'm trying to, like, harvest from my plorts? I guess not. Well, farmer's work is never done. It is never done with all of these massively wealthy and valuable slime poops. Can I buy anything in here, the plort market? The Plort Market is a network of buyers and sellers of plorts across the galaxy. Ranchers use Plort Market machines on their ranch to sell plorts to the market for sale. Ranchers are paid immediately when depositing plorts at the plorts' current market value. Plort Market values flu- Oh, really? Do I have to play, like, the market in here? I guess this just tells me information about 
all of the different things in the game. So this is like the, the Wikipedia page. This uh, port a majig. Can I sell slimes? Apparently not. So you can go back in your pen. Oh, give me these rest of these ports though. Then I'll put- here's your friends! Play nice with each other! Um, I guess you could hump each other, I don't really care. Alright, well that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. We just had our start inside of Slime Rancher, and I- this is a cool game. Uh, this came recommended both by a couple of different, uh, gaming sites, and also some compatriots of mine. So, I'll catch you guys and gals next time. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we're gonna keep playing us some uh, Slime Rancher. So until then, toodles everybody. Have a good one.